Well, howdy, the first vlog was so successful, we're going to do another one right off the bat. So here we are looking at three images. It was nice to see the sun come out this morning. First one is nice, super sharp, a 600 and teleconverter. And, but the bird's bill is angled away. His head is turned slightly away, maybe one degree. Next one, I have the beautiful curved neck. Perfect head angle, half a degree towards us, and the nictitating membrane is completely covering the eye. In the next frame, we have a beautiful eye, same bird, a couple of seconds later. So what I'm going to do is take the eye from this bird and put it, put it into this bird, uh, lay it on top. So I've already, using the same... Uh, the same parameters. I have already converted both images, so we're going to flip over to Photoshop. And there we go. And we're just going to give you the basics of quick mask here. Q for quick mask, B for brush. Make sure I'm at 100% opacity, and I'm going to make the brush a little bigger, and hit X because nothing was painting. There's my eyeball, face, <clears throat> Q for quick mask, Command J to put it on its own layer. Now we take V for the move tool and bring this over here somewhere. And you can use the arrow keys to move it. But the real trick here is to go Command F for the frame view and then go V for the... I'm sorry, Z for the zoom tool, and then click draw the box around it. And what we're going to do here first is go like that and see we're way off. But now we're going to go and reduce the opacity to 40%, 50%. And now we can pretty much line things up perfectly. Now when we bring the opacity back, to 100%. We see there's a whole different look. But with the eye open, I like it just like this. If you want to be a little fancy, you can add a regular regular layer mask, BDX to erase, and you can bring in that lower, the original. There, you see we lined up pretty good. So that's fast and simple. Command E to merge layers. I don't like this little bit of dirt on here. So let's give you another quick mask. There you go. Beautiful. Q for quick mask. B for brush. Let's get out of that Q. Let's go J for the spot healing brush. Let's just clean this up a little bit right there. Might as well do this one while we're at it. And this, and now we can go Q for quick mask, B for brush. Take this, Q, Command J, V for the move tool, drag this to cover, not too bad, and let's see how it looks. Pretty good, but what I like to do is a crazy thing. I like, like to add a regular layer mask, BDX, BDX to erase, erase the whole thing. So we're back where we started from. And now I know that I just want to get rid of this tan business, so I make the brush smaller. I hit X. And I can maybe go to 50% and just sort of blend that there. Merge the whole thing down, Command E. You could get into cleaning up here forever. You can use the patch tool. Na, na, na. You can come here, use the patch tool, but I don't want to clean the whole bill. 
We got you some basics of quick mask, shift delete for content aware fill, command D to deselect. And now we at least got rid of that little bump on the bill there. And we have an obvious dust spot here. I'll show you the last thing we'll do before I get out of here and go down to the lake is, oops, one more little blemish there. P for the patch tool. Just drag it right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Command zero. And I'm going to show you how we dust spot the whole thing. Double click on the zoom tool. FN left arrow brings us up to the corner. And now we are going to simply move this along. And if we see something in the background move, might want to clean this up here. Shift delete, content to wear fill. And then once we get here, instead of dragging this and trying to figure out the overlap, you click inside the frame view and it'll take you down with a little bit of overlap. It looks like we had just that one dust spot. Should have left that one so you could see it move. Oh, here's another one right here. Watch there when I move it, when I move the frame. There you go, Jay, for the spot healing brush. Goodbye. So we're looking for something moving on the background. That's on my screen. Last one. And clean and green, command zero. And for this one, I'm going to give it a tiny uh, original ratio, ratio crop. So C for the crop tool. Whoops, come over here. Choose original ratio. And just tighten this up a little bit from the corner. Double click on the check mark. And we are ready to go. Shift, command. Well, what I do, this is my, my thing, is flatten and convert to 8-bit. People who are fancy printmakers probably don't want to do that, but I am not. Shift, command, S, left arrow key, sand hill, sand hill, crane, adult, head, and shoulders, I replaced, save, okay, and then for the blog, see for the crop tool, 900 pixels tall, bingo, double click, command zero, command minus, command S, my command for sharpening, that's my JPEG sharpening, I've actually reduced it since I've gone to Sony, Hit OK, Shift, Option, Command, S. Optimize to less than 395 kilobytes. We don't have to do that because it's already smaller. Hit Save, and it will save it in my Web BB folder. So if you like that little trick, there's a thousand more in Digital Basics 2, the current workflow e-guide. And all the basics are also in Aptats 1 and 2. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little shorty. And I'm going to try saving, I'm going to try converting it to an MP4 video so that we can have uh, better quality, maybe look at it full screen. Love you much. Cheers.